Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I'm going to be making a front door wreath for Pelotonia. Uh, that's the bicycle ride that I take part in every year to raise money for cancer research. I'm making two actually, one for myself and one for my cousin. So I'll show you the materials that I bought. I actually got this wreath at Hobby Lobby, pre-made. Um, it's the Belvita, and they were $20 regular price, but they were 50% off. So I figured I'm not gonna make a base wreath, wreath base, wreath base? Come on girl, get it together, for less than $20, so, or for two. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed some of this which are paper flowers, so pretty. And this was regularly $5.99 at half price. And I'm gonna deconstruct these picks. And then I grabbed two of these with the white roses on them, one for each. And these were $6.99 at half price. So, oh, and then I got this ribbon, which was $7.99 for the whole thing. So let's see if I can. And this whole spool has 15 yards of this ribbon. The problem is it was not on sale, so I only got one, but I don't care, I love the colors in this ribbon. And it is a wired ribbon. So we're gonna use this to make a hanger at the very end. So I don't need that right now. I also got a wooden bicycle. They came just like that, and I colored it with some paint markers to put on here. Uh, gold and black is the colors this year, but green is always Pelotonia, so I'm just kind of adding a little of that. Scissors, wire cutters. This metal sign came from the Dollar Tree, and then I just used my Cricut, but you can put anything on here you want. And then some floral wire that comes on a paddle like that. And that's it. So we're gonna start by deconstructing no, we're not, I lied. We're gonna start by hanging that in the center. So I need to sit down so I hope I don't, as long as I stay between the legs, we should be good. I'm using my overhead thing again. So what I do is take, I mean, just a piece of this wire, snip it off, and you can use anything you want, string, whatever you have. I just happen to have this wire. And then I'm going to put it through the holes that come. I can tell right now that's not long enough. <sighs> Mistakes already, guys. But it needs to go around the frame. So here, we'll do that long. And I need two pieces. And like I said, you don't have to wire this in. If you have string, yeah, I just don't know how well hot glue works on galvanized, to be honest with you, but you could certainly try it. But I'm putting it in here, trying it out, um, putting it in this hole here and spinning it. I just want it to be sturdy attached, right? Then I'm finding on here what I think will be the top. So let's say I'm calling this right here the very top. Then I'm gonna come in here and just wrap this around the wire, right? Because I want this centered. And then I will just move all the greenery as soon as I get this attached. It's a messy job, guys. And then I'll move the greenery kind of around it because I want that in the center. Now I'm gonna flip it over and just twist. Just like you would a bread tie. Do they even have bread ties anymore? I haven't, couldn't tell you the last time I bought bread. But you want this to be tight. If you lose any of your greenery, like I did lose off on my other one when I was testing this, I'll just glue it back in, I'm not worried about it. So I'm good. I also don't want this scratching front doors, so I will put that in there. nip that off and then I put it so it you know you don't want this rubbing on the metal wire on your front door 
so I'm gonna turn it around and these, you know, I can just kind of move these out a little bit, but you wanna see the word Palatania because that's the name of the game today. And I'm just gonna kind of give them a little space here. There we go. Okay, I didn't even lose any greenery. Now what we're gonna do, oh, sorry. We're gonna nip these off. And I'm gonna nip off the green at last. And I wanna make them kind of long because I don't really know what's gonna happen with them yet. I definitely know I want to put them so I can see them in the wreath. And these may get glued in, you know, because that's how we roll. And then I'll keep this green to see what we're going to do with it. All right. And then I need these. And I did the math. And I'm going to do each of them is going to get, I don't know how many. We'll see. And then if I need to cut them shorter, I can. One, two, three. And then. Four. So if I give that one four, then I have one, two, three, four for my other one, and then there'll just be an extra. And that's fine. But I want to make sure they're both pretty, so it's easier for me to just get all of my materials together and then determine. So I know that this is the top. I'm going to do decorate down here. And then I'm just going to start by putting my flowers, oh, where's the biggest of them? They're all pretty much the same. And I may, like I said, I'll fix it here in a second, but I just wanna see how this will look at the bottom with these four flowers down here. We'll do some of those out and then I'll put the bike in. Okay, so what I definitely need to do is trim these ends. And did I mention hot glue? Hot glue. And I just get a blob of hot glue on the end. And I wanna make my very first one pretty centered. And cause that's where we're gonna work from, right there. I'm gonna work from here. sure. And this is why I say you really want a good pair of clippers. Yeah. So I may only use three. Who knows? What do you think, Alex? He's next to me over here in his little bed window, window bed, whatever we're going to call it. over here so that's good right and I could put well I think I like just the three how that looks then we need to oops, get the hot glue cleaned up over there there we go. I think I want that to stick out underneath these flowers, right? So once I release how they're all held together, I definitely do not want to let go. Because I'm not getting involved here in putting these through one at a time. So there, and then I have these two. I mean, if I have to, I have to, but. And here we go. And this is so easy, guys, and quick. And I will tell you, I go on Pinterest and I just look at other, um, 
ideas and then I kind of come up with my own creations. So they're not 100% my own, but they're not somebody else's either, if that makes sense. And then we're just gonna go in here. And I'm really trying to attach things to the grapevine wreath that is under it. Right, because the greenery will move around. Like this stuff here moves. So this is it. And then I'm gonna get that down in there. And I have some more, so I need some more glue stick. Some people use like pans to heat their hot glue. I, I'm not that person, just so we're all aware. Like electric skillets and they just melt their hot glue in those so they can dip. And I suppose if I did more than just a couple of these, then I might do that, but I don't. All right, so I have this, this left. Let's see, do I need it? I may not even need any more. What do you think? And then the last thing I think I want to do, so I have that, I may put this over here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, because I think I'm off kilter a little bit. So, I'll put you right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just tell myself that. And then I want to stick you, this right here. Now, there's a couple ways I could do it. I'm trying not to get my head in the way. But I could, let me just get it over here. I think what I'm just gonna do is put some hot glue on the wheels. And then attach it and then go back later with a little piece of wire. But I really want it in here. Oh, gotta hold it. Okay, let's flip it over and see how we're looking back here. Oh, that didn't even get attached to anything. Okay. I'm going to go up here. No, I'm gonna go down. So the spokes are open. Grab that and come around. There we go. Because we really want this bike to stand proud, right? Because that's what it's about, friends, the bikes. There we go. Get those down so they don't scratch the door, right? And then I'll do just because... I can, let's get down in here. And make sure this bike stands up. And then we're gonna add, fortify it with a little hot glue on the back. To make sure We want it to stay in place, right? And all of that will be covered in glue. So we need to let that dry. So let's work on the ribbon. And this is what I have left, these little 
buds, which I could stick somewhere and I might or not, who knows. And then this mess here, which I don't need. But I do need ribbon. So what we're doing, I'll let that dry, but what we're doing is we're, we're gonna hang the ribbon up from here and just tie a bow, a basic bow so it can hang on top of the, um, on my front door. But that is it. That, oh, I'm gonna use that too. So like this here, it didn't really glue in to the, um, there we go. And then I'll show you the finished product. But the ribbon, honestly, is gonna go through and then the top is just gonna be tied into a bow to hang it on my front door. But I'll need to do that while I'm at the front door. So that's it, that's how I'm making my Pelotonia front door wreath. So I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, here's my wreath I created. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, let's fix it. There we go. I love it. It's gonna bring me so much joy when I come home and see my pretty green wreath. Oh, so happy. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So easy to make and the DIY will be up on Wednesday. But it was super easy. Hot glue guys, hot glue does everything. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we get into.